and welcome back to our channel. I'm Juanita. And I'm Justinas. Today we are going to talk about five things you should know before moving to Germany. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. We usually upload once or twice a week. Let's go! We were living in Austria and after a lot of like talking, we decided to move to Germany. But when we arrived here, we didn't know a lot of things that I think is very important for you to know because Germany is a very different place, let's say, because it has a lot of rules and a lot of things to follow. So that's why we are doing this video, just to let you know five things that you should know before coming here, that it will be very helpful, I think. Number one. Before you move to Germany, you have to start looking for an apartment. Unless you move into a very small town or village, uh, it's very likely that you're going to have trouble finding apartments in most major German cities. And we know this from friends living in Berlin, Munich and ourselves living in Hamburg. Yeah. It's extremely difficult to find an apartment, especially if you're a foreigner uh, that doesn't have credit history or any employment in Germany, like employment history or salary. For example, before we moved here to Hamburg, we rent an apartment. So it was uh, a friend's of a friend's apartment. Uh, and we stayed there for a month. In the beginning, we said like, yeah, let's rent an apartment. We know that we're gonna find an apartment maybe, I don't know, in one week, two weeks. We actually thought about coming to Hamburg and renting like a hotel or an Airbnb. Yeah. And we were talking, maybe I take a week from work, a week holiday, and then Juanita comes for like another three days. Yeah, and we were. And yeah, we thought like two weeks would be more than yeah. enough. It was crazy. It was crazy because like one week, two weeks, three weeks was passing. Nothing, like three weeks we still had nothing, yeah. not a single, lead not no. a single reply i think and then we every day were like sending emails really going appointments and like working super hard to get an apartment full time full yeah. time one month job for and two people nothing 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 what makes it really difficult to get an apartment when you move to germany without any history in the country is that you don't have credit history mm -hmm. it's called schufa in german and that's something that every landlord every real estate agency is asking for like as a first thing you have to show the Shufa or credit score. Yeah. And without it, it becomes really difficult. Because A, if you don't speak German, you're already kind of narrowing your opportunities. And second, if you don't have a credit score, uh, it becomes extremely <laughs> difficult. Because I think landlords get already kind of suspicious or weary if you don't speak German. And then they ask you for a credit score. And if you say like, oh, I don't have a credit score, I just moved here. Uh, you can just see how your like chances just kind of close and disappear. So I think the tip here is like if you're coming to Germany, maybe if you have a friend here or someone, maybe that person could start helping you to search for something, maybe go to some appointments or something. The tip here is if you're gonna come to Germany and if you don't have no one here to help you, is start searching for an apartment to share. I think that's something that we thought of as well, just to share an apartment for some months. And I think that will help you to build your credit score because that's the only way. If you come new to a country, you're not gonna have another opportunity to have this. Yeah, the reason why it's easier to find a shared apartment is because the risk is lower for the landlord. Obviously, you're sharing the rent money with like one or two or three other people. Mm -hmm. So you're much more likely to get a shared apartment without having a credit rating. And another thing is it's much easier to get an apartment if you are coming for a job. Like if you've been employed and you're coming for a contract job, then you can just show that job like that you're starting to work in a company to your landlords and I think they're more likely to give you an apartment. Yeah, that's super easy. If you have a job and if you have a contract that you have more opportunities to have an apartment. So if you're coming as a freelancer, it's a little bit harder because you can't show anything, like you don't have any estimated income or any guarantee that you will make money. So without credit score or guarantee that you will make money, you can see how it's really difficult for the landlords to trust you with an apartment. Yeah. So when we moved to Germany, it was really hard because we came here to freelance and we didn't have a contract for a job and we had no way to prove what our income is going to be. So one thing that helped us is having a lot of paperwork from our previous job and uh, from our previous incomes. And that's where point number two comes in handy about things you need to know when moving to Germany. So before you move here, you have to go and get any kind of paperwork that you can imagine, that you can think of. If you know that you're gonna move to Germany, start as early as possible making a list of any paperwork that you might need. Passport copies, rental agreements, mobile phone agreements, bank statements, employment contracts, tax returns. Everything. Everything, Everything. you can imagine. Uh, car insurance, contract car insurance certificate, employment certificate, notarize it, confirm Everything. it, copy like you it. You really will need a lot of things yeah, here. Yeah, ask 
your job if they have like four different types of ways to confirm that you work there. Print it out. Germans really like paperwork, so I think you will really need here to have everything super organized, super ready for anything. If you're gonna go, for example, to these apartment views, you will need to give some papers right away. So like we said, when you're looking for an apartment and you're going to talk to these landlords, since you don't have any guarantees in the country, uh, what really helped us is to show them what our previous salary. Mm -hmm. So both Juanita and I had our pay slips and our employment contract from our previous job and we could show them that we did earn good money. So then we can talk to the landlord and tell them that we moved to Germany because we had better business opportunities here and that we're planning to grow even more. So if they can see that you had a good salary and a good job in your previous country, uh, it's, I think, easier to yeah. convince them that you will be able to pay the rent here and you, you kind of gain some like trust, respect points yeah. from that. Even though I think it's not like legally acceptable. No, but, but they it can would see. help for sure. And when you find an apartment, you need to be super careful that that apartment could be registered in the town hall. It's the main thing here. If you don't have an apartment, you cannot have health insurance or bank account or anything. Nothing, nothing. nothing. You can't have a phone contract. Can't have internet. Yeah. Yeah. You basically you cannot exist in Germany without an address. Exactly. Like every your life in Germany starts with an address. Exactly. So come to Germany, get an apartment, ask if that apartment or that room that you're gonna get could be registered in the town hall, and with that you will be a citizen and like a person here in Germany to rock and roll. Yes. <laughs> All right. And a bonus point for number two is that you might need to prove how much money you have when you move to Germany if you're not from the European Union mm -hmm. and if you have to apply for a visa. So if you just moved here, you don't have a job, you came to freelance or to be an artist or something and you're applying for a visa or for example maybe you're planning to look for a job once you moved here, uh, you will need to prove that you can support yourself for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So it would help to have some savings. Yeah, for sure. And they don't accept any bank statements from foreign banks, uh, the best thing to do is to open a German bank account and then put all of your savings into that German account mm -hmm. because they can uh, stamp and sign like an official certified bank statement version which the town hall are more likely to accept. Yeah, for sure. And then, number three, here in Germany a lot of people speak English but they don't want to speak English. Yeah, and you have to and respect that. I respect that, I respect that. But also you need to be like very careful with that if you're gonna go, for example, to do some visas or like some important papers, bring someone with you that speaks German or at least you need to know some basic German just to go and like do this paperwork. Yeah, don't come in there like expecting them to speak English even though it's called like a welcome center or an immigration center. I think the key is not to expect them to speak English and to like demand it. Yeah. Try to be polite and careful if you can say at least hello in German and then politely ask them, can you speak English? I don't understand German yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have to make it sound like they're doing you a favor because they are. Number four, shops are closed on Sundays and bank holidays. Complete, complete holiday. I think that Germans encourage people to like take the day off, yeah. relax, not go anywhere. Sunday like, is just like a ghost town. Yeah, yeah. So if you're coming to Germany, for example, on Friday or Saturday mm -hmm. and you're going to be staying in an Airbnb or you, you might want food, make sure you buy the food on yeah. <laughs> Friday or Saturday. Also watch out for bank holidays. So in case you come here on a Saturday mm -hmm. and there's a bank holiday on Monday, you have two days where you won't be able to buy any food. So make sure to stock up on Saturday or Friday. And number five is going to be cash. You need to have cash here in Germany, always. 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 I think this is one of the countries where this is still happening. Yeah, it's it's, it's crazy. Everything yes. is so developed, like the infrastructure and healthcare and everything. Everything, everything. But they just don't want to take cards, like smaller businesses especially. Mm -hmm. You can buy everything in a grocery store and like, or like a big major national business. Yeah. But anything smaller, restaurants, bars, like you might be in a really fancy five-star restaurant. And sometimes you have to pay with cash. Yeah. So be careful with that. Always have some cash in your pocket just in case you never know. Here, any business could say like, sorry, no card. So I think yeah. that's a big thing also. All right, so that wraps up our five things to know before moving to Germany. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment below if you want us to make any more videos. So keep watching our channel and see you soon.